Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about my top surgery, all my plans for that and yeah, what's happening. So, just get into it. So for anyone that doesn't know, top surgery is basically something that transverse skin people, so like FTM guys and non-binary transverse skin people, have um, to masculinize their chest. So you basically just remove the tissue and like make it flat to make it look like I don't know, make it look like a man's chest, yeah. Then you don't have to worry about dysphoria and like clothes and shit. Like it basically just makes life a lot easier because then you have like a man's chest. So I'm having top surgery in about a month. It, it, the details of my own surgery are, I'm having surgery with a Polish surgeon called Dr. Lemmas. Uh, I found him out through YouTube. He wasn't very well known. He's getting more well known now and his dates are getting booked up. So I'm quite lucky that I found him a bit earlier than other people. He's uh, really good. He does both peri and double incision. If you don't know what they are, double incision is the method with the two underneath cuts and peri is around your like areolas, that's what it's called, peri areola. But uh, yeah, I'm having a surgery with him in December. Uh, we stay out there for two weeks for both post-op checkups. Uh, obviously the one week is like the reveal and then the two weeks is just to confirm that everything's fine and then you go home. It's costing about £2,700. So yeah, I'm hoping to have um, Perry, uh, but I don't know yet. It's quite scary because I don't even know until like the day before I get the surgery what I'm actually having. That's something that is making me nervous around the surgery. But you know what, I've accepted both. Like I sat down and had like a talk with myself <laughs> where I had to like accept that I could have DI and like accept that I could have scars. But and then think about how having scars is way better than dysphoria. So I also have my friend Orla coming with me that you've seen in um, previous videos. They're gonna come with me um, to um, help me basically because when you come out of surgery you can't like do some things for yourself. You, know, you need help because obviously you've just had an invasive surgery to remove something from your body. So you need like help with a few general things. And yeah, we're gonna be there over Christmas and New Year's and it will also be like a nice little holiday because neither of us have ever been to Poland. But yeah, it, it, it's uh, it's coming up, so it's getting quite nerve wracking right now. Here's the uh, questions and assumptions portion of the video. I've got a few Instagram um, questions from a poll on my phone. If you ever want to be involved in a video, I'll leave my Instagram down below and polls get posted on my story. So yeah. How are you feeling about the date being so close? I don't know. I'm not really like the excitement has kicked in a bit but not like too much because it still feels a bit of a distance because it's only like a month away but it's more right stress about getting everything organized because i'm very like particular about that but yeah still very excited to like go into 2020 like like we're achieving top surgery and tea this year has like been a big thing so it's 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 a nice feeling but it's also a stressful and nervous feeling what can people do to support you and other trans people going through top surgery? I'd say number one thing is always like ask them what they need. If they need something they can tell you or you can normally guess. But it's better off you knowing for sure what they know that they need, if that makes sense. But just be happy for them. Uh, the worst thing is not having some people in my life just be like oh this and this. And it's like first and foremost be excited for me and happy for me or happy for whoever you're supporting and then worry about it 10 seconds later but you need to support so you just kind of try and be happy for them the little things you could do if you wanted to you could like help them uh, book things so they're going abroad help them book that or you could like if you what if you're that close to them i guess you could like drive them if it's in the uk literally anything you can do surrounding the surgery is supportive so the second you just even get happy about it, send them a congratulations message, that support and then that alleviates some of the like stress, they'll forget about the stress for a second and like, yeah, I'd just say do anything you can to keep them in a positive mental space about the surgery. What's your biggest worry about the process? If I'm being 100% honest, I think it's hard to pick one. Uh, probably over the whole entire process has been like money because I'm, I've had surgery once before when I was younger and I know you're young so you don't really realise the gravitas of a surgery but I don't know, I don't really feel that scared about the surgery itself I probably will when it gets to the day, I'll probably be like mm, but like, no, I'll probably be like too scared to, to get put under and stuff like that because it's quite a scary situation 
But if I'm being honest, I think probably my biggest worry is the like finding the costs and the time and getting everything arranged. Because as I said before, I'm very particular about organisation of certain things. So yeah, probably costs and arrangement I'd say is the biggest stress for me, which is not for everyone, most people would say being put under or having their first surgery or something, but that doesn't really scare me as much, which it probably should. Yeah, so that's everything I have to say about my top surgery. If you've got any more questions, you can comment them or you can go over to my Instagram, DM me, answer any polls. A vlog of it will be incorporated into uh, a project I have coming next year. It's going to be like a documentary long vlog about my transition. It's like over a year's worth of like small clips of footage. And yeah, it's going to be coming about, I'm going to speculate for very much time next year. So if you want to see any more about it, that's when you'll get to see it. I know it seems far away, but there you go. If you like the video, subscribe, give it a like, and I'll see you in the next one. So are you lesbian now? Do you lesbian now, will you?